Hello, my fellow readers. This is Dion Brown Lawton, a member of the Go One Girl Book Club with another book review. Dance We Do, a poet explores Black Dance by N. Tazaki Shange. Publisher, Beacon Press Boston, copyright year 2020. N. Tazaki Shange was born in 1948 and made her transition in 2018. She was a poet, playwright, known for color girls who have considered suicide when the rainbow was enough, a dancer and choreographer. She graduated from Barnard College and received her master's degree in American studies from the University of Southern California. Her artistic credits author of four poetry collections, seven novels, and six children novels. Her dance career started with the musician Sun Ra, and her former dance training was through the Catherine Dunham Technique and the Fred Benjamin Technique. She performed with Diane McIntyre's dance company, Sounds of Motion, and shared the stage with numerous dancers and musicians. During Ms. Shange's formative years, she was exposed to dance and music in her parents' home. Her father was a professional ballroom dancer. Dance classes consumed a lot of her for time, yet writing was intertwined. The first time Ms. Shange witnessed performances of black dancers was in Newark, New Jersey, during a black power convention the year 1967. She saw movements of African dance, modern dance, and jazz techniques. What captivated Entezaki was black bodies of all shapes, sizes, and professionalism. From the event, Mishange researched, studied, and worked with dancers from the Caribbean, Cuba, and Brazil. The book, Dance We Do is a collection of essays and interviews of famous dancers and choreographers that she worked with for many years. Combined with the written word, this book speaks about two art forms. In the dance world, it would be called an adagio. In the introduction of the book, Ms. Shange speaks about her introduction to movement her experience with the Catherine Dunham technique taught her how to love the body, how to move the torso, the feet and hands, understanding gravity and flight. Most important, allowing your mind and body to be completely free. Further into the book, there are essays and interviews of dancers and choreographers that enhanced her skills and collaborations with other performers. Interviews with Fred Benjamin, master teacher, choreographer, and the founder and CEO of the Fred Benjamin Dance Company. He also taught at SUNY Purchase. His dance technique taught the dancers to extend their legs and arms if they were taking flight and letting the dancer know that the space in which they occupied must be used to its fullest. For many dancers, this technique was challenging. Friend Benjamin passed away in 2013. Raymond Sawyer, founder of the Black Institute and San, in San Francisco and guest choreographer for the Aborigine Dance Company in Sydney, Australia. He was known for using drummers in his class and extended floor exercises. Mr. Sawyer incorporated his dance philosophy while teaching. He wanted all his dancers to have the courage to manifest their own ideas and to believe in their own creativity. Because of this, Mishange's grassroots project for colored girls who have considered suicide when the rainbow was enough was born. Also, extensive dialogue with Diane McIntyre, founder of the dance company Sounds of Motion. Camille Brown, 
a recipient of numerous awards and founder of the Camille A. Brown Dance Company, and Elio Pomare, master choreographer and founder of the Elio Pomare Dance Company. Till the very end of Mishange's life, the written word and dance was everything to her. To quote Mishange, through dance, I found a way to further express myself and I used it. I combined two of my favorite art forms, dance and poetry, Creo poem. Additional background of dance terminology and biographies of dancers and choreographers, plus great photos was a wonderful addition to this book. On YouTube, you can, you can view one of her choreo poems, Holler, Edutainment, What Does It Mean That Black Folks Can Dance? As a retired dancer, I love this book. My rating, 4.5. Dance, we do. Until the next time, happy reading.